But uh, I suppose when you do it 250 years and you can do something like this, it's pretty fantastic. Because uh, if we hadn't had the right people, we wouldn't have survived for 50 years. And uh, you know, the fact that so many people have seen fit to come in and uh, attend this day have indicated that we've had the right people. So thank you very much. Again. So how am I going to go and make none of the jokes? <laughs> I wondered how to play this, and uh, I sort of did a bit of a pilot of history. I thought you probably don't want me standing up here telling pilot of history. And if you've walked around and had a look, you've seen it all anyhow. But it is interesting that we have got quite a lot of people here from when we had the two tin sheds, one in that corner and one in that corner. And we probably uh, had a boundary line at about the edge of that concrete running just behind you there. And uh, I think our earliest bus driver in attendance was Keith Shark, who was with us in 1948. There's a few not far behind. And I won't uh, sort of go right through all of them because I'd, you know, I'd run out of steam and take too much of everybody's time. But uh, I did say lots of people have made pretty big efforts. And I should mention a few. Karen T has come from New Zealand. And John Penang has come from Nauru. And uh, Britton Hillman and uh, Bev Grender have both come from Sydney for the day. And there are a lot that have, you know, come from pretty big distances by car just to be here. So, from where I sit, it says we've done some, <coughs> some things right. Excuse me, my voice has been cracking up for the last month. And I guess it's just getting worse. So, you know, uh, I'd just like to say thank you very much for all of that. As well, I would like to thank all of the people that have assisted. The choir have done a fantastic job, you'd all agree, and uh, you might give me a special thank you. As well, our in-house entertainment uh, far exceeded uh, what I thought they might be, and they were all superb, so perhaps again another clap. And then probably uh, finally to the people who just helped the structure the whole thing, Ozzy Spidrow, I'm sure you all had enough to eat. I insisted uh, with Scott uh, that if you didn't, uh, we wouldn't be paying the bill. And uh, I would imagine there's a fair bit left in there. So uh, then he's made Eddie to put up all of the marquees. And I had another guy that's not here called Jeff O'Reilly. Now because 50 years is a long time, and I'm probably the only one that could sort of stick all of the history together. I scored that Guernsey. But then I just gave a talk to Jeff Riley with all of those types of notes which get bothered pretty busy in the last couple of weeks. And uh, he's done all of the display. And I think, you know, if you didn't have a chance to follow it all through, there's a lot of history there and it, and it is great. So I think most of you, have, uh, you know, you either know our story, or if you uh, come from a fair way back, you would have picked up a, a bit. But we did start in 1945 with one bus company. We've now got four bus companies uh, and a bodybuilding plant and uh, Max's farm, Max's eyes, with his Rangus cattle. So we've got about 520 people on the payroll at the present time. And that's good, and like always, all good people who are very supportive and do lots of good things for us. So, you know, uh, that's critical. They, they have put up their hand. They've uh, helped do all of this for the day. But in particular, I'd probably uh, pick out Brian Diaper and uh, Peter Davis, who have controlled this microphone 
and that's kept them all day. I think most of the others have had bits of rage, but uh, they probably haven't had much, so a special thanks for them. Now in turn, the rest of the staff, as I said, have all done their bits. There have been girls stamping name tags, uh, there have been guys writing notices on computers, and there have been mechanics and drivers sweeping yards and all of the sorts of things that are necessary to make this all work. You know, uh, I've also had lots of people like Val Kaiser ring up and say, hey, can I help? And, uh, you know, that's all been great. We tried pretty hard to find uh, lots of special people from the past, and we did find a lot, and I do thank you for making the effort and helping make our day. So I, I probably can't say much more, except from where I sit, it's, it's been excellent, and just on behalf of Mother, I, I know she enjoyed it, and uh, my family, Lance's family, and particularly myself, uh, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, um, I think David Woolsorff has uh, a slight presentation to make. Um, I don't know whether it's Ken, no, it's not Ken, but uh, Ken can say it. Well, thank you very much, sir. I thought it, it would be an opportunity for me not to thank the Griffith family really for having such an event where we can participate and assist them in this reunion. 50 years is a, is a magnificent uh, performance by any, any uh, judgment nowadays. And when you think about it, uh, look back over that 50 years, the Griffith group has expanded to where it is today and that, that's a magnificent feat. We're all proud to be part of this uh, the group and we treat it as a privilege to have worked with the group or still working with the group. I just wanted to uh, draw a little bit of attention to Mrs. Grenda, senior. I remember the first time when I uh, joined the company at the first Christmas, I was presented with a piece of fruitcake, which was, I'm a bit of a uh, professional at uh, sampling it, fruitcake, but this was very nice, this one, and I treated it uh, quite a privilege to receive fruitcake, and at that stage it was Mrs. Grinder's desire to make fruitcake for every employee within the group. I felt this is really uh, an example of how the Grinder family treat their employees. We're all treated really as part of a big family, and I think that makes for a very happy working environment. And I think uh, we're all very pleased, and I think Mrs. Brenda in particular should be very proud to see, looking back over those years, that's in 40, uh, in the 50 years, that, that if she looked at it the first time when her and her husband established this particular company, on a very sound base, and uh, no company can last 50 years without having a very sound base upon which to work. The second generation has picked it up and run with it and expanded the group to where you see it today. And now we're seeing part of the third generation coming along and joining in the management of this group. And we're very proud that we're part of that. So Mr. Brenda, I thought it would be appropriate if we were to make a small presentation of some flowers to you for your dedication and setting this, this organisation rolling back 50 years ago. So we thank you very much.
I got my witness in 1964 as a part-time driver on the Kui Run Schools Education Department bus. I come for three or four months in the quiet time, and uh, in that time, the Yamburi uh, come to Dandenong for the robot. In that time, everyone chipped in. There were 50 buses approximately in the fleet at that time. Everyone, including drivers, uh, staff, uh, well, even the office staff, was called on to meet trains with thousands and thousands of scouts to be lifted from Dandenong Station to Roval, the campsite. And with that, those thousands of scouts, their packs were as big as they were, and because they came from all over Australia and the world at that time. And that always stuck in my memory as to how everyone chipped in for the, to drive the buses, not only for their return, but for the great family that they were working for. Uh, I, uh, oh, what? I've lost my place. <laughs> uh, I would like to say <laughs> yes, but uh, it is very encouraging to see the younger generation uh, coming up and taking over management roles under the champion eye of their father, Ken. This assures us that Glenda's bus services will be around for many years to come. It's a very proud moment for them and a very proud moment for a lot of people to see today. It's been a wonderful day and we will never forget this day, I am sure. It's been wonderful. Blessed with good weather and a wonderful family to represent it. 50 years, congratulations to Glenda's, for 50 years of service to the community. You don't want to listen to me all day, but I'd like to call on Ken to accept this plaque, beautiful plaque, from the management and staff, past and present, to the Greta family for attaining 20, uh, 50 years in the bus industry to this community. So, on behalf, congratulations, Ken, and thank you for being such a wonderful brother. Uh, family to work for. Thank you very much. I probably missed two things on the way through that are worth mentioning and uh, they were just two little notes that I get. I've got and you probably saw them on the board. And one was from Bill Bad Putin, who most of you would remember, and uh, says he's still an Australian at heart. He's still a Grenfell employee at heart. And the other one was from Arthur Beale, but who again, many of you will sort of remember. Uh, both of their cards and letters are in there, and you probably did see them, but uh, I should have mentioned it on the way through. So I don't think anything more remains except for me to say thanks once more, and we'll see you all in another 50 years, and uh, hopefully we can make twice as good a party at that stage of the game. The entertainment will go on for a minute, but perhaps Brian can tell you a bit more about that. Thank you.